High school football from across the desert southwest is here. Varsity Blitz starts right now. Always love the whole Bill fans. Good evening and welcome to week 10 of the Varsity Blitz. I'm Scott Gross alongside Luis Lopez. Scott, a lot of storylines this week to follow. Can Yuma Catholic hang on to their number four ranking in Class 3A, which would give them two home games in the playoffs? Will Central meet Brawley for the fourth straight year in the IVL title? Also, will anyone catch Palo Verde Valley in the Desert League? Holtville lost to the Yellow Jackets two weeks ago and would need a little help tonight from Vincent Memorial. More on that a little bit later. Yeah, Scott. First, Holtville needs to take care of business at home tonight against league foe Mountain Empire. Holtville entered the day at 6-2 and two with a 1-1 record in the Desert League. Good for fourth place. So what would happen in their next league game against Mountain Empire? Let's take a look and find out. Over to Holtville, where the Vikings took on the Red Hawks to the first quarter. Now, Red Hawks on the Holtville 46. Senior Gregory Reyes is going to take the rock here on third and 27. Over to the sideline, he is going to earn his way to a 23-yard gain. Just a couple plays later on fourth down, Red Hawks going to go for it. They hand the ball off, but the Holtville defense is there. Vikings get the turnover on downs. Vikings, they're going to take the ball now, and they are going to hand it off to Donovan Johnston who bounces his way over to his own sideline for a 21-yard gain. Big run for Johnston there. Three minutes left in the first, same drive for Holtville. Quarterback Spencer Hilficker is going to take the snap, and he is going to fire it off to Peyton Eiton. Eiton met immediately, but it's a 15-yard pass. Viking drive would unfortunately end with a turnover on downs. Mountain Empire back with the ball now, about a minute left in the second quarter. QB Mannix Gonzalez rolls out and fires it to Gregory Reyes for the 19-yard pass and a first down. Now that drive would end up in a field goal for the Red Hawks. Not much doing offensively for either team. Holtville would go on to take this one by a score of seven to three. To Veterans Field in Calipatria with the Hornets looking to shake off a three-game losing streak as they welcome the Tartans of St. Margaret's to town. Early first quarter, Jacobs and Dejas gives to Alex Fernandez and he bowls his way for five yards behind the left guard. Moments later, it's Fernandez again behind the left side and it turns into a rugby scrum. Two yards and a cloud of dust for the Hornets on third downs and Dejas rolls left finds Zachary Leal for the short. And not enough for the first, at least to this punt. And why are we showing you a punt? Well, watch the return by Tartan senior Dylan Lamb. Yeah, he's going to juke. And nice little shoulder move, and he's going to work his way now for a nice 20-yard game. Moments later, it sets up this quick toss by Max Ruff to the right to his receiver. Tartans find Pater and score first. St. Margaret's goes on to win this one easily by a score of 58 to nothing. To Shimamoto Simpson Field, where the Imperial Tigers are looking to stay above 500 against the Calexico Bulldogs, who are looking to do the same thing. Early second quarter, the Tigers' Reese Vindiola fires a wounded duck and finds Francisco Lopez for a nice chunk of yardage and a first down. Moments later, confusion on the Tiger backfield, and the Bulldogs' Abraham Zazueta and Diego Garola are there to devour Vindiola. It leads to a Tiger punt. Calexico with the ball now. Zazueta with a sidestep in the pocket, and he fires deep and finds Andres Ramirez for the big gain and a first down. Near the end of the second, confusion in the Bulldog backfield yet again and the ball is poked free and it's scooped up by junior Pablo Moreno who takes it 63 yards for the score. Tigers strike first. The Tigers would go on to beat the Bulldogs by a score of 14 to 6. Big win for the Tigers, their first IVL victory. To Eagle Field for a Thursday matchup. Southwest looking to play spoiler to the Central Spartans looking for a fourth straight IVL title appearance. It's the El Central City Championship. Central already up 7-0. Damian Rodriguez flicks it out to Gavin Marini who gets outside and Marini does the rest. He is loose. He surges into the end zone for a second touchdown early. Yeah, Moreno gives the Spartans a 14-0 lead after the Southwest three and out. And why not Rodriguez again? This time in the gun, hands off on a jet sweep to Skylar Cook, and he gets the job done, picks up the first down. It'll lead to this, Rodriguez. He played really well second half of the year, Rodriguez does. A transfer out of Holtville pumps, good protection in the pocket, floats it down the sideline. Who's going to get it? Well, that's your boy, Artie Estrada, making the grab and high steps. Would-be tacklers, another touchdown, 21-0 Sparty. Could the Eagles get anything going? Logan Youngers 
Would like to think so. Hands out to Esteban McDonough, and this is a good start. Gets outside, cuts back for a first down, but it would be one of the few bright spots and first downs in the night for the Eagles. They would punt again. Leads to this. Rodriguez has a free backer coming right at him. Whoop. Takes it, and hello, Charlie Sunovan out of the backfield, and Sully catches it for 48 yards, and the score it was all Spartans. They cruise in this one, 42 nothing, and they win for the third straight time for the El Centro City Championship game. Spartans shoot down the Eagles for the third straight time, 42 nil again, and now they will meet Brawley. Now this win again is Central's fourth in a row. They are now five and four in the year, but more importantly, three and zero in the IBL along with Brawley who is idle this week, and that sets up the IVL Championship in Brawley next week. And oh, by the way, it's the Bell game. Of course, <laughs> God, it doesn't get much better than that. Now we're going to take a water break, but don't go anywhere. The Yuma schools are next. We've got more scores, highlights, and the out-of-town scoreboard. Straight ahead, this is the Varsity Blitz. You're watching Varsity Blitz on Thursday on your side. Visit Paradise Casino for the extended Rake in the Dough Cash and Rewards Play Giveaway. Join us on Sundays, October 10th through the 31st from 5 to 9 p.m. to rake in your share of over $66,000 in cash and rewards play. So much, so close. Paradise Casino. Spectrum Mobile is reinventing wireless again. Introducing the best deal in mobile. Unlimited on two or more lines for just $29.99 a line. All on a nationwide 5G network that provides the best overall experience and reliability. Call 844-677-2999. Unlimited for $29.99. This offer is going to take off. We changed the rules when we introduced mobile with no contracts, no added taxes, and no hidden fees. And now we're doing it again. Making it easier to get unlimited for less with our best deal ever. Get unlimited from Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99. That's amazing. It's the best deal in mobile. Join the millions who've switched and get the best deal in mobile. Unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included for just $29.99. And save up to 60%. Call 844-677-2999. Click SpectrumMobile.com or visit a store near you. A device. Some may consider a toy. One local man has used to make a name for himself. Radio controlled racing. It's more than just something you could do locally. You could go to races across the world. The sport has even taken him all the way to Australia. How he got in the game. And if there's any money in making it big. Rolling Racers, only on 13 on your side. Wednesday, the 27th at 6 and 10 p.m. Imperial Valley Auto says sell us your car. With the recent shortage of new and used vehicle inventories due to the worldwide semiconductor chip shortage, your car is worth more money than ever. We can actually pay more than you paid for your car. In many cases, whether you buy from us or not. Visit ivauto.com to schedule your free appraisal and sell your car today. Great prices, great selection, great service, and great people who care about you. Experience the difference at Imperial Valley Auto. Quichon Casino Resort and Paradise Casino are giving you more ways to win. Sign up today and you could win up to $1,000. One club, two properties, more ways to redeem at Quichon Casino Resort and Paradise Casino. You're watching Varsity Blitz. The best highlights, the best plays, continuing right now. You're watching Varsity Blitz on 13 on your side. Thank you, Rod Woodson, and welcome back to Week 10 of the Varsity Blitz. I'm Scott Gross. The Yuma Catholic Shamrocks reached the state title game last year, and in order to get back, they needed to make their path a little easier with some home cooking. Now, they put themselves in a great spot last week with a 29-26 win over River Valley. Uh, Luis Lopez joined us now. Why, why was this win so si significant? Yeah, that's right, Scott. The huge win over the third-ranked team in the 3A division has propelled the Rocks to number four in the latest AIA PowerPoint rankings. Now, this is significant because the top four teams are guaranteed a home playoff game in the first two rounds of the upcoming 3A playoffs. Tonight, the Rocks played their regular season home finale against Kingman. Let's see if they could hold their spot for another week. To Ricky Gwynn Stadium with the Shamrocks charged in full effect in the regular season home finale against the Kingman Bulldogs. Opening drive, Bulldogs, Malachi Bell is going to take the snap, runs right, but finds all of his doors closed. Rocks smother the run and hold. Rocks with the ball now, Richard Stallworth. As you're going to see in a second, he is going to elude the rush, 
and catch up near side priest with the touchdown right in your living room rock strike first let's go for two stalwart is going to find Martinez in the back of the end zone. Yuma Catholic looking good early after a defensive hold. Rocks with the ball and Stallworth somehow avoids a sack, moves over to his left and is going to find senior Devin Black who races down the sideline and gets tackled near the 10. Moments later, Richard Stallworth yet again. He is going to find Luke Stallworth, but he stops short of the goal line. Rocks would be stuffed at the one and turn the ball over. Good news for Yuma Catholic. They win at home by a score of 62 to nothing. To Doan Field, the other team with the Yuma name in their title, the Yuma Criminals still in search for win number one on the year. Welcome the Bulldogs of Sierra Linda. Opening kickoff and Giovanni Robinson with the return, picks up a couple blocks, shakes a tackle on the sideline, picks up a few more and starts Yuma's drive in Sierra Linda territory. Yes, Crim's on the roll. Couple plays in for the Crams and the toss right back to Robinson here. Again, he's going to shake a tack on the backfield, tries to get a few more, and oh no, coughs up the rock. Bulldogs hop on top of it. Turnover on downs. Sierra Linda's drive inside the red zone. Anthony Garcia tosses it out to Trayvon Dinging, sir, who gets inside the Yuma 10 yard line. They would go on to score a play later to strike first. Now the Crims driving early in the second quarter. The toss out to Emmanuel Garcia. This time he gets loose down the sideline before being dragged down inside the 10. Sets him up nicely, but just a couple plays later, it's Robinson again, and the ball touches the dirt again. Bulldogs scramble on top of it. They say they have it, they do, and the Crims give up a golden opportunity inside the five. But talk about redemption. Sierra Linda backed up in their own three. Garcia tossed it deep downfield, and Giovanni Robinson comes up with a diving interception to give the Crims the ball back. Would they go on to score and tie it up? It would be a tight game, but in the end, the Crims fall short yet again by a score of 23-21. And now to the Kings of Kofa on homecoming, also vying for their first win of the 2021 campaign versus West Point. Coach Carl Pope and quarterback Leo Koivu looking on. We pick it up in the second quarter. Kings down by a few touchdowns, and the third down handoff goes to Jonathan Clark for a short game. Fourth down and short, they go back out of the gun, but he's dragged down in the backfield by a couple of dragons. Turnover on downs. And off the turnover, West Point quick screen pass to Juan Arias, who gets down the sideline for a first down and more inside the Copa 10. Next play, as you're going to see in just a bit here, hand off to Omarion Brown, who walks in for the score. West Point up big, 42 to nothing before the half. The Kings come up just short of their first win, falling in this one 59 to 8. Luis and everybody, we had a lot of games out there today. Let's take a look at our scoreboard. Again, Central over Southwest by a score of 42-0. Calexico and Imperial, this was a very tight game. 14-6 for the Tigers. Tigers get their first IVL win of the season. Uh, the Bulldogs are started out early, uh, kind of limping to the finish line. Holtville in a slugfest, 7-3 over Mountain Empire. Uh, the Desert League, very, very tough this year. Calipatria falls at home to St. Margaret's by a score of 58-0. Next, uh, next out of town scoreboard. Here we go. What do we got? Yeah, and as you can see, West Point taking down Kofa big by a score of 59 to 8. Sierra Linda and Yuma in a very close game. The Criminals nearly pulled it off, but ultimately they fall short to Sierra Linda 23 to 21. Yuma Catholic once again with a huge victory over Kingman. They take that one in blowout fashion, winning 62 to nothing. And over in Vincent Memorial, Palo Verde Valley taking that one by a score of 50 to 16. Big win for Palo Verde. And I think with that win, the Yellow Jackets may have all but wrapped up the Desert League this year. The Yellow Jackets in preseason were, were supposed to be good under Coach Grant, and they certainly, certainly proved it this year. Gila Ridge falls again. They lose to Greenway tonight, 34-14. Cibola wins 48-24 on the road to uh, Cooper Canyon. Make that Copper Canyon. Antelope falls to St. John Paul II, 8-0, and San Pasquale had yet another game canceled on the year. So it was a big, big day today. A lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of things happened. We'll keep the scoreboard right there for just a second as we talk about it looks like we have the IVL Championship. It'll be at the Bell Game in Brawley. Next Friday night it'll be Central versus Brawley. <laughs> for the fourth straight time those two teams are going to meet. Looks like we have a Desert League champion in Palo, uh, Palo Verde Valley. Uh, congratulations to the Yellow Jackets. And also, it looks like tonight, with a big 62-0 win over Kingman, Yuma Catholic will hang on to at least for another week with that big win, Luis. 
that number four spot in 3A in the uh, AIA rankings. Yeah, Scott, a lot of huge matchups out there in the Desert Southwest tonight. Games are starting to get a little tighter as these teams begin to wrap up towards the end of their season this year. It's now time for today's best. A big thank you to Marina, Omar, and George, our directors in the booth, Cole Johnson, Adonis Albright, and Adam Klepp helping with scores, Wiley Jahari, Vinci Bari, Joe Tapaste helping cover our games tonight, Jonathan Busco with graphics, Lisa Sturgis, and Marcus with the web. So many people uh, that go into this, Luis, of uh, putting this whole thing together. It's a, it's a whole, whole team, uh, and we're just so gracious and, and thankful for everybody that, that helps us. Yeah, Scott, just like these teams that battle it out on the field, it's a team effort here at 13 on your side, and I wouldn't be, uh, definitely would not want to do it with anyone else. So very happy to have this team behind us so we can put on a great show for our viewers at home. Thank you for watching week 10 of the Varsity Blitz. Uh, we'll see you next week. Enjoy the rest of these highlights. Stephen Colbert is next.